saying. So I wanted to take um, a video um, of how I set up my time blocking. And funny enough, I did it last week and I have been unable to upload it to YouTube. Totally annoying. So I wanted to get back in here and sort of redo some of this, give you examples of how I do it. I'm gonna jump right in. Okay, so you'll see in here, like today, I put myself in for personal time. In the blog post, it says, <clears throat> keep it simple. You do personal time, you do work time, I have a little family time in here, um, planning time. I even put rest time um, into my block calendar sometimes. So let's show, I'm gonna show you how you do this. I already explained how you get in here. Basically, I started out in my email and then I hit this little thing right here and it said calendar. And that's how I got into the Google Calendar. All right, I'm gonna close the first one. So now I showed you how to get in. So when you wanna set up one of these blocks, let's go over here to like, I'm, I'm just gonna to go to Thursday. I get up every day really early at like 5.30 when my husband does. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna like click right, right between like 5 and 5.30, right at 6.30. Okay, 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. This is going to be personal time, just like it was over here. And like it is over here, it's gonna be personal time. So what you would do is you would just type in personal time, personal time, okay? And then you can change the time, like I would put edit event, then it goes like this, personal time. So I'm gonna put personal time till about 7.30, because that's the time I leave my house with my son. Oops. 7 30 oh my 6 73 a.m that's not right okay and then what you do is if you want to set a color like i did for personal time you come down here and you choose a color i like purple for my personal time so i'm going to choose purple and then if you look down here do you see this notification thing this is awesome this is like a google reminder so you can get like a pop-up or an email i do like email reminders so i'm going to add a notification here I'm gonna do an email notification um, that I have, you know, that I have personal time, even though I won't get this, but yeah, whatever. Um, I'm gonna add that on there. So this is great. These email reminders are like the best thing, the best thing you can possibly do. Okay, so then when you, when you have this all set the way you like it, you just hit save, and there it is. When I wanna do work time, I go over here to eight because I start right at 8 a.m. I click and you would do the same thing. Like say you work at home or you work in the home. We all know that, you know, working at home, stay at home mom and everything, that that is work. So if you want to designate a couple of hours of work time at home, say you're trying to clean out your closets, you can do it right here. So I'm going to edit the event. I'm going to go over here and we'll just say like, I don't know, 8 to 10 a.m. sounds good. 8 to 10. 10 a.m. And work time I like to make red. No reason. It is kind of angry, but I like to make that red. And if you feel like you need a reminder, set a notification. It'll email you. Google will email you a notification um, that you have work time scheduled. So that is like, that's basically it. You save. And I do this with all of my stuff. Like on Thursday, I'm gonna go down here and I'll put in, because it's a personal appointment, I have a personal appointment at 3.30. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put it under personal time because it's an appointment. And then I'm gonna edit the event. And if I wanna write something down here where, like I can put Cairo appointment. So this is really pretty much how I do this. Um, in terms of my block scheduling, it would still be purple because it's personal. And then about 3.30, it's probably not even a whole hour. It's probably only 3.34. Put that in there. Save. So that was that's how I would put an appointment in, in the middle of the day somewhere. Like I said, keep it simple. If you want to color it, do it. I wouldn't recommend um, using more than, say, four or five categories because the more stuff you stick in here, the more blocks of color and everything you stick in here, the more confusing and overwhelming it gets. So I'll post this on the um, Facebook page. I'll put it on the blog post and everything. If you have questions about it, 
um, feel free to comment on either one and um, I'll try to answer your questions and I can try to do it in a video if you need. Thanks.